Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, we got Xander getting on my last nerve. We got Kristen, Kristen finally getting what she wanted this whole entire time. Brady and her baby. Now she got them. Now she running out of town. We are fleeing the country with the baby. We got um, Kayla and um, Justin. I guess saying a goodbyes to um, Adrian. I guess. I didn't look at none of that. It was born, so I fast forward it. We got Ben proposing to Sierra, even though she shouldn't she shouldn't accept that proposal, but she gonna accept it anyway, so there's no stopping her. So we're gonna let her have that. We're gonna let her have her moment. Um, what else happened? We got Sarah giving up the baby. I was expecting her to hold on to that baby for dear life. I was expecting a whole lot of struggle. I was expecting cops to be involved. You know, forcing her to hand the baby over. I wasn't expecting her and Kristen to be so calm and to handle her with kid kid gloves and to hand over the baby so easily like, easily, like she handed over the baby. Like I was expecting a whole mess. I was expecting Zion his messy behind to get in there. I was expecting him to make everything worse, make the situation ten times worse, worse than the headache that it already. I, like I was expecting a whole lot. Xander, Xander, you is one aggravating snitch telling, always telling on yourself. Every time you open your mouth, you're telling on yourself. Was it really necessary for you to tell Brady what happened when Kristen tried to steal um, Polly Pocket Baby? Was that really worth it? I understand. We we understand you don't feel sorry for Kristen and Polly Pocket having her baby. Okay, fine. Do you not know, silly rabbit? You just put yourself involved. You just involved yourself into another crime, opening your big mouth once again. Insert foot into your big mouth. Do you enjoy telling on yourself, like I said, a neon sign all over you saying, if it's a crime committed, I was in it. I was involved somehow. I was involved in a crime. Ooh, 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 it was me. Pick me. Like, was it really worth it telling Brady that Kristen tried to steal um, Polly Pocket Baby even though she didn't get away with it and she found out she was pregnant? Even though it happened, that don't mean you go and tell on yourself that you was involved into the situation. Really, it was forceful or not, you was involved into the mess. Now, why would you go telling that story? We understand how you feel about Kristen. Kristen was your boss once upon a time not long ago. But now, all hell and broke loose. You don't care anymore. If you can get the Polly Pocket, convince her to keep that baby and run off with her, you willing to do that. Even though the woman had told you over a million times, she don't want nothing to do with you. She don't want to look at you. She don't want to much look at your face, but yet you still want to be that being aggy. And furthermore, um, Xander, at this point, you should hang it up, buddy. Like, you looking at some serious charges being brought your way, but yet you want to keep on telling on yourself, but yet you haven't got enough yet. But yet you want to keep on doing the stuff you doing. Like, I, Zan, I am sick of you. If they give me a break from you, I wouldn't complain nor cry at all. Because, Zan, at this point, every time they show you, you make me mad. I don't know what it is about you and your... You aggravate my soul. Like... I don't mind you being uh, being annoying, but telling on yourself and snitching on yourself, how is that cool? You think you're going to win cool points with saying Kristen tried to steal Polly Pocket Baby, but oh look, I was involved in it too. So, you trying to say Kristen guilty, I'm guessing you're just a guilty party and you're not guilty involved in that whole trying to steal Polly Pocket Baby. Because you the one that sought everything up. You the one made sure that the room was clear and all that. You was her eyes and ears when she was in that room. Let's not forget. 
You want to blame Christian and they are Christian to the wall for trying to steal Polly Pocket, baby. But let us not forget, you the one that choked up the, the doctor. You the one that was looking, making sure what no doctors coming, making sure it was clear, making sure the coast was clear for you to do what well, for Christian to do what she had to do. So how are you not guilty and Christian guilty? Come on, Zelda, make it make sense. You can't pop Kristen hand because she tried to steal Polly Pocket Pock on um, baby. And then you gonna sit there trying to throw that in Brady face that Kristen did then. And knowing you was involved in that, I would have kept my mouth shut. First of all, you force yourself on that plane with your little, your little, um, you the CEO of Titan. Second of all, ain't nobody invite you. Third of all, you was aggravating all the way down to the plane trip. I was hoping Brady a talk show behind that that um a talk show behind that one of the windows and let you fly from the sky all the way down to the ground. I was hoping he was gonna, you know, beat you up a rough and you up on that plane because you was being aggravating. And then you so concerned about Polly Pocket. Everybody else concerned about what Polly Pocket gonna do with the baby. Is she gonna give the baby freely? Everybody else worried about Polly Pocket and the baby. You weren't, you weren't about trying to get the Polly Pocket, trying to save her still. Even though the woman then said over a million times she don't want you around Home. And Rez, what you thought you was going to do, buddy? I like your little stance. I will give you that telling Xander to stay away from Polly Pocket. I'm not going to take that for you. However, if you going to stand up and say all that out of your mouth, shouldn't you should have been trying to, you know, been a little bit more forceful, like blocking the doorway, trying to stop Xander from getting near her? I'm just saying, if you're going to say all that, at least put your foot down. That's all I'm going to say. Ready? You got beat up or not. You should have at least did a little bit more than what you did. He pushed you so gently out the way, and you sat there and allowed it. But then again, you know what? We get what we get from you, Rex, and I ain't going to give you too much today because you tried to talk sense into her. Um, You did what you can do. <sighs> We don't know what Polly gonna be doing, but I kind of didn't understand the whole Brady and Kristen thing, what they was planning on doing. Then I rewinded back two times and said, oh, so she fit to go on the run with the baby. Brady fit to run back to Salem, I'm guessing, trying to clear her name. Well, she can come back home. Or right, this going to be another child you got out there, Brady, that you ain't got custody of. You can't see every Brady. It must be you, because it wouldn't be me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I had a child out there in this world, I'm going to be around my child every day. Every time they open their eyes, I'm going to be right there in front of their face. Ready, they like it or not, I'm going to be right there. I'm going to be a full-time dad, not no part-time dad talking and Skyping all that mess, even though that do make up some of the time. But, Brady, you missing the most important parts to take life right now. Go out here in California, and now you finna miss the most important parts of Rachel life because Kristen gone on the run now. So that's two children you didn't miss stop growing up. Brady, if you like it, I love it. It just couldn't be me and it wouldn't be me. Um, What else happened besides that? Ben and Sierra proposal. Um, Do I want to talk about that? Because it wasn't really that important. Like, I enjoy them together or whatever, but I think it's too soon for them. Like, y'all just not getting out the cupcake stage of dating. Now he wanna now he wanna confuse the situation and now he wanna talk about marriage. That better be one long engagement. That's all I'ma say, cause Ben, you just not getting her family on your side. Do you really wanna go ahead and mess that up by talking about proposing to her? I'm just saying, Ben, you have came a long way. You still got your anger problems with you, but I don't think all the family, you know, they just put up with you because you're Sierra's girlfriend. Now you finna be her wife. I don't think they're gonna be able to deal with you and you proposing to that girl that she's still young, you still young, and 
y'all still got a whole lot of living to be doing and it ain't for me to judge but if y'all like it i love it i guess well i just say it's too soon like too soon he just got over getting anita in his arm almost dying and now y'all talking about proposal like i said again y'all business kayla steve hall um at adrian gravesite i got a little spoiler it could be true it makes a lot of sense um uh, about that can be um what's the woman name the woman that got adrian face um what's the woman name what's the woman name what's the woman name what's the woman name I forgot the woman name, but y'all know it was a woman running around here looking like Bonnie. They, I got a spoiler that that could be Bonnie in the grave and not Adrian in the actual grave. And it was all, you know, um, Maggie older daughter, the little one that came delivering her news with booze in hand. It was all her fault and Maggie wasn't really driving. It was all her. I got a little spoiler. It sounds like it can be a whole lot of truth to that. A truth to that. I'm just gonna wait and see how it plays out, but it sounds like it makes a whole lot of sense. When I when I when I saw it, it made a whole lot of sense to me. Like Maggie was really driving, but we ain't see Maggie really crash, like, really crash. We saw Polly Pocket and Adrian actually crash. And you know when the accident happened, we saw all of them in motion. Um, we didn't really get to see Maggie being a part of the accident, but we know she was a part of the accident. Like we saw Polly Pocket and Adrian. So that could make a whole lot of sense. And you know Bonnie come in and go as Adrian as she please. So so I can not think this can be another, you know, switcheroo of the Adrians. Bonnie in her place again. So it makes a whole lot of sense to me that it could be, um, I just thought, it, Summer. It could be Summer, the one that caused the accident, not Maggie. And it could be that Bonnie is dead and not Adrian. It could make a whole lot of sense because it didn't make sense with that whole accident scene from the jump. So that do make a whole lot of sense since I got that little tear about that. It does make a, it make more sense that way than do it make, with, well, it make more sense that way than it did with they showed us. So they didn't show everybody getting in the wreck like, like they normally to do like if normally when a wreck happened on the soap operas you see every party involved involved in the accident the crash and already they hurt injured we only saw Polly Pocket and Adrian or Bonnie get hurt all we saw was Maggie after the wreck we didn't get to see Harry Ashley and you know they ah and you know it crash or whatever we ain't get to see none of that on Maggie's side we all saw we on the part we saw was Adrian or Barney and Polly Pocket point of view of the accident and Will so you know it, it, it was a whole lot that night so it could have happened that way it make a lot more sense that way than what they showed us and when she told me that in my comments I said it make a whole lot more sense that way. When now that I think about it, it does make a whole lot of sense. Cause normally when wrecks happen, you put to see all parties. We only saw um um we saw of the accident, even though he wasn't involved. We didn't see Maggie. All we see was Maggie up there like this with the bottle. So it could make a whole lot of sense that she could have switched the um, you know, seats and Summer could be somewhere hurt, injured or whatever. So it make a whole lot of sense. What else happened before I close? Um, Jake and um um, Kate, their whole situation. Um, Jake looking more and more like Stephen to me with the whole goons coming to attack him. He didn't want to talk about it. He told Ben, don't ask no questions. You ask more questions, you can leave. You can be fired. So it, it's making a whole lot of sense that that could be Stephen, you know, white memory and just threw him out there as Jake and that's what he run away. It make a whole lot more sense that that could be more stealthing because when I see this face, I say that can be a Bonnie and Adrian situation. 
but the more you look at it, it looking like it looking more like a you know loan shark trying to get his money, come threatening you. Stephen and lost his memory, don't got no memory of who he is, no driver lost and no identity. He picked up the name Jake and that's what he running with, trying to make a living and you know dealing with the ends are out with dealing with a loan shark. So it's looking more and more to me that that could be Stephen and not, um, well, it looking more like Stephen with a memory wipe than somebody else coming in posing as Stephen to me. It just looked, it, it just looked like that to me. Um, other than that, that was about it. I mean, it gave me a whole lot. I'm dying to see if Xander gonna keep on trying with the whole trying to get Polly Pocket back. I'm dying to see where this whole Kristen and Brady and the baby storyline going in. Um, I'm glad Polly Pocket storyline coming to an end. I really, I am glad about that. Zelda, you can go with Polly Pocket if you want to. Red, you in and out so much. I don't know if you coming or going most of the time. So, um, yeah. Okay, you still shopping with all the jobs? Mm. The choices you make. I guess you got to look cute even when you don't got a job and you unemployed, huh? And, and telling this man to take it easy on, on, um, on Gabby. Why should he take it easy on Gabby and Gabby being annoying? That man said he's not stepping. She being annoying right now and being aggravated. Somebody that don't have a memory of that person and you got this person bouncing around you, kissing on you, doing the stuff she doing, doing the absolute most like Stephanie, well, Jack is a celebrity or something and she always want to touch him. She doing too much. You cannot um, tell that man to be sensitive when it comes to Gabby and Gabby doing the absolute mess so, like she doing too much. Like I understand this man got your face. He playing as Jake. He might be Stephanie. And he might not remember you, but people go by the other, people go by, you know, people do this the other way. Gary, however, jumping in all happy inside it like he a celebrity. Oh, I want your autograph. Oh, I want you to kiss me right here. Like she doing too much. Like you could not expect that man to be sensitive, sensitive to her. And she doing the absolutely most. Like that man said, he freaking her out well. Like he said, she is freaking him out and I don't blame him. Like I'm sorry. I cannot feel sorry for Gabby. Like there's ways to handle this and there's Gabby way of handling it, handling this. And she doing too much. So no, Kate, Jake is not gonna be sensitive to Gabby, even though she doing too much, got to be around this man, kissing on this man, trying to make this man remember something he don't remember, besides going at the soft, gentle way, like um Sonny did Will, or like um um, who else had that situation? Like, uh, that the other people that had this situation, like, they go gentle, be soft, be calm, hang around a man, try to get to know the man, you know, put in some, you know, that we used to do this, or, you know, be soft and gentle, not extra and being coming at that man strong like a, like a strong cup of coffee. Like, you're doing too much, and you can't expect that, Kay. But then again... I don't expect nothing out of you, Kate. This is you, Kate. You the... You, I'ma shut up. I'ma shut up. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.